If you or somebody you love struggles with addiction, you may have heard the term harm reduction. According to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, harm reduction is an approach that involves engaging with people who use drugs and equipping them with life-saving tools and information. Harm reduction can include providing things like overdose reversal supplies, wound care supplies, sharp disposals, and clean needles. Good evening and thanks for joining us here on New Center Maine at 530. I'm Zach Blanchard and I'm Chris Costa. A nonprofit is bringing a mobile needle exchange program to Bangor. The goal is to make sure people struggling with drug addiction have safe and clean needles. But some members of the community and business owners in the city aren't on board. New Center Maine's Raya Wooten explains. Needlepoint Sanctuary, a syringe services program, is now certified by Maine CDC to provide mobile syringe exchange services in Pickering Square and Pierce Park. Volunteers from the nonprofit say with the drug epidemic worsening in the community, it's important to meet people struggling with addiction where they are. The amazing thing about Safe Needle Exchange is that it's also an opportunity for education, for intervention, Needlepoint volunteer Dave Carvaggio says the need to reduce harm during drug use can't be avoided. What we're saying is that we're going to reduce the rates of HIV, we're going to reduce the rates of hepatitis C, and we're going to prevent overdose, and we're going to provide care and services to people who are desperately in need of those services. Dr. Leah Kelly says providing safe syringes to people who use drugs can be an opportunity to provide support where it's needed. And when people are alive, they have an opportunity for treatment. They have an opportunity to make their lives better. They have an opportunity to continue to raise their children and be with their families. But some community members and business owners say providing needles in open community spaces would do more harm than good. When you're turning away homeless people or you have a child that's coming in that's never been experienced any of this stuff, how are you supposed to explain that? City manager Debbie Laurie says she's working closely with Needlepoint and the CDC to find common ground for everyone in the community, but explains organizations don't have to receive approval from the city to operate on public property. The good news is, is that, you know, they've been open and willing to have the conversations. And that's, if we can't have conversations as community members and come to a, a collaborative consensus, um, you know, that's a problem. Lori says, according to Maine CDC's guidelines, although organizations that apply to become certified mobile syringe providers do not have to ask for permission from the city to operate on public property, they do, in fact, have to ask for permission from private owners to operate on private owned property. In Bangor, Raya Wooten, New Center Maine. Now, if you or someone you know is struggling with a substance use disorder, there is help. Maine's crisis line is open 24 seven. That number is 1-888-568-1112. And the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration has a national helpline that's also open 24 seven. That number is 1-800-662-HELP.